When Jessica and I decided that we were gonna be moving to Los Angeles, more specifically Hollywood, there was one movie, the filming locations, that I really wanted to do more than anything. In fact, I kept telling myself it's gonna be the very first filming location video that we do, and obviously it wasn't. But that's for Tim Burton's movie, Ed Wood, starring Johnny Depp and Sarah Jessica Parker and Martin Landau and Bill Murray and a whole bunch of other people. It's a terrific movie, if you haven't seen it. It's done in black and white. So from here on out, this Grim Life Collective episode is gonna be in black and white. So, enjoy. It's gone my way wherever I go Hard luck is that it stays Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way Today this building is a security company But back when Tim Burton was here filming Ed Wood He used this small building as the Screen Classics company Where Ed Wood goes and tries to convince President Ed Weiss to allow him to write and direct their latest movie because he is absolutely perfect for the role. A few things have changed. The palm trees are still there. The sign now says Securitech Security. The windows are different, but the bricks, the walls themselves, they're identical. Now, if you've seen the movie, then this is not going to be a spoiler of any kind, but the reason why Ed Wood thinks that he is absolutely perfect to make their latest movie is because he likes to wear women's clothing. Something he's never told anybody before, including any of his girlfriends or his wife. But it all comes out in the end. On the phone, you said you had some special qualifications? Mr. Weiss, I have never told anyone what I'm about to tell you, but I really want this job. I like to dress in women's clothing. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but I think it's absolutely perfect. This scene takes place on the corner of San Fernando Road and Edward Avenue. After the meeting and being told that even though Ed Wood thinks that he is absolutely perfect to direct this movie, they felt that he wasn't, that they needed somebody who can put a movie out really quickly. As we move on down the building, it might look familiar from a certain scene, and we're going to walk you through it, but it pretty much starts right over here with Ed Wood coming out of that door. As we walk through the scene, you're gonna see a little bit of difference, mainly in the color of the walls. But that ledge right there, as Ed Wood comes out, you're gonna see that wall, how it juts out like that, but also right above the door. See where it says 1652 North Cherokee Avenue? In the movie, at the time of filming, it was painted on the wall. This is about as close as we're gonna to get to the actual shot. But Ed Wood walks right outside that door after having a drink. He's smoking a cigarette and he walks right on down the sidewalk. And you see him pass this door. And as he comes over here to right behind this plant, he stops. And he sees Bella Lugosi in a coffin. This is the shot right here. Of course, that parking meter wasn't there. And right here on the window, there's a sign that said Hollywood Mortuary. And you can see this gate right over here on the left-hand side of your screen in the shot as well. Right behind this door, you get a close-up of Martin Landau's face as Bella Lugosi is laying in a coffin 
He's not too happy. You get that line and it cracks me up every single time where he's like, it's too constrictive. I can't even fold my arms. This is the worst coffin I've ever been in. Genius. Too constrictive. I can't even fold my arms. Gee, Mr. Lugosi, I've, I've never had any complaints. This is the most uncomfortable coffin I've ever been in. Right now I'm kneeling in the doorway of what was the Hollywood mortuary in Ed Wood. There's a couple shots where they show Ed Wood walking up here and you can see that building in the background. It's identical. This is the spot. Sadly we can't see inside the windows. There's a curtain up. But to be honest, I don't know if the interior scenes of the Hollywood mortuary where Bella Lugosi was laid out in the coffin, trying out the coffin actually, were filmed here. My guess was probably on a sound stage somewhere or wherever Ed Wood <laughs> would have figured out where to, you know, stage this scene. But it'd be cool if they filmed it in here. The interiors. I've always wanted to visit places like this. To me, this is old school Hollywood. Everything about this place is just beautiful. I mean, look at this wall. This art right here where rising stars come down to earth. Bordners. And about this shot right here, Bella Lugosi storms out of the Hollywood mortuary and runs into Ed Wood. Now at the end of this street, just behind that Coca-Cola truck, you can see a church. You can see that off in the distance, as well as that Bordner sign hanging from the side of the building there, as they both walk up this street talking. Mr. Lugosi, why are you buying a car? I'm planning on dying soon. No. Yes, I'm embarking on another bus and truck tour of Dracula, 12 cities in 10 days, if that's conceivable. I think Martin Landau's portrayal of Bella Lugosi was absolutely phenomenal. And it cracks me up how grumpy and straightforward he is. <laughs> Ed Wood asked him, why are you buying a coffin? And he says, because I'm planning on dying. <sighs> this has got to be Tim Burton's best movie. The direction Bella and Ed Wood are walking is right up the sidewalk here towards Hollywood Boulevard. Can never get enough of these palm trees. I point out the palm trees because at the time of filming they weren't here and as Bella and Ed Wood are standing here on the street corner you can see right behind those palm trees and that white truck right about there there's Musso and Frank's Grill and there's a sign right there you can kind of see it that green sign you can see that off in the distance completely unobstructed by the palm trees. Oh, there's my bus. Shit, there is my transfer. Say, don't you have a car? I refuse to drive in this country. Too many madmen. I guess at this point I should probably call out what I consider to be the elephant in the room. Somebody out there is going to be saying, Hey, Mr. Grimm, why do you keep calling him Bella Lagosi when his name is actually Bela Lagosi? Well, the entire time that I've known him in everything, and it probably goes back to Bauhaus's Peter Murphy saying, Bella Lugosi's dead. That's probably it. I don't know. I just keep calling him Bella Lugosi. It just rolls off the tongue a lot easier. It, maybe it makes it a little bit more romantic. You know, after all, he was Dracula. But call him whatever you want. Bella Lugosi, Bela Lugosi. Much respect to the man, Dracula. When everything starts to open up, I want to get a steak there so bad. The sign says, oldest restaurant in Hollywood since 1919. And it's still here. For the next location, we're driving about a half an hour to probably about 45 minutes with traffic south to a place called Gardena, where they filmed the scenes of Bella Lugosi's house. This freeway is something else. Boy, Mr. Lagosi, you must lead such an exciting life. When is your next picture coming out? I have no next picture. 
the scene where Bella and Eddie pull up to Bella's house starts off right about here. And as they drive down this road, the camera pans to this house right here in the center. And Eddie parks the car right over here in this area to the left of that walkway. Don't want the classic horror films anymore. Today it's all giant box. This is about the shot you get as they walk up to the house. Everything about the house itself is the same, but obviously there's a lot more plant life in the yard. Giant spiders, giant grasshoppers. Who would believe such nonsense? <laughs> the old ones were much spookier. They had castles. As Bella and Eddie are walking up to Bella's front porch, the camera turns around and you see their faces as they're talking about the way horror movies used to be. This house can be seen behind them. Also, off to the left here, you see these two windows? They can be seen in the shot as well. As this one over here. Now, in the movie, there was a, what do you call it? A shutter on either side of that window there. It's no longer here, but this is that house. Full moon. They were mythic. They had a poetry to them. Yes. And you know what else? The women. The women prefer the traditional monsters. This house is seen again towards the end of the movie when Ed Wood and the cast and everybody's watching the finished product. Close up of the shot this time, Bella Lugosi walks out that door and he stops and he smells a rose. That would have been to the left of the sidewalk here. The ever beautiful flowers she had planted with her own hand became nothing more than the lost roses of her cheeks. Confused by his great loss, the old man left that home never to return again. Right now we're walking to the storefront on Hollywood Boulevard where Ed Wood and his crew were filming the window scene, the window shopping scene from his movie, Glenn or Glenda. It's around this corner and probably about a half block down. In the movie Ed Wood, this scene always stuck out to me because he's on Hollywood Boulevard with the film crew and they're filming and then the cops come around the corner and he's like, oh no, we don't have a film permit. So they pack up everything and they run. A lot of times I feel like that's how Jessica and I roll. We never really have a film permit. Sometimes we ask for permission if it's necessary, but for the most part, we're just roaming around like madmen. In this scene, the Glenn or Glenda camera crew is unloading their equipment right about here next to this curb when Ed Wood shows up and he calls their attention and as he does so, the camera raises up just above them and you can see those two buildings behind them. The one on the left says Carpet Village now, but during filming, it said Regal's Hollywood Store. Excuse me, could I get everyone's attention please? Could you gather around? I've got something to say. Everybody. The column that says 5642, which is that's the address of this place, 5642 Hollywood Boulevard, Ed Wood is standing right about there, giving them a pet talk about how they're about to embark on an incredible journey. We're about to embark on quite a journey. Four days of hard work. But when it's over, we'll have a picture that'll entertain, enlighten, and maybe even move millions of people. They call action and Ed Wood comes right around that corner from the alley and he stomps right here in front of this window and he peers inside at a mannequin and the lingerie she is wearing. And action. After the scene, the camera guy asked, hey, don't you want another take for protection? And Ed Wood says, what's to protect? It was perfect. At this point, one of the guys on the crew notices a cop car 
down here at this intersection. He calls it out, cops. And Edward turns and he looks. You can see that building down there. They pack up everything and they run. Hey, cops. We don't have a permit. Run. For this scene, we're standing on the corner of Hollywood Boulevard and Wilcox Avenue here in the heart of Hollywood. This wall may look familiar to you. There's a scene between Ed Wood and Bella Lugosi. They're walking. The scene starts right off in front of this wall. And Ed Wood is thanking him. And they have this nice little moment. And it leads to probably one of the coolest scenes in the entire movie. Bella Lugosi gives a monologue. I know it sounds funny, but it's a wall. But I've been wanting to see this wall for so long. Last night was quite a wrong. <laughs> Did you see that kid grab vampires' boobies? <laughs> I envied him. If you've been watching our show for a while, you may have noticed that I really like different architecture and the way lines are and trying to line up different shots. This wall is no exception. For some reason, it's little things like this that stick out to me in this movie. Just a heads up, Jessica is joining us from here on out for the rest of our adventure. And just look at her standing there in the wind below this old school Art Deco Hollywood building. Look at that, ironwork. That, my friends, is gorgeous. Bella and Eddie would have been walking right down this walkway, having their moment. And if you look ahead here, you go around this way. You see those two archways right here? All right, Jessica, right about there. Right where Jessica's standing, the camera stops. And Eddie asks, well, he says to Bella, you know, I really wish you would have seen the movie. And Bella Lugosi says, well, Martin Landau's Bella Lugosi says, it's okay, Eddie, I have it memorized. And he proceeds to give an amazing monologue with this archway in the background. Home. I have no home. Haunted, despised, living like an animal. The jungle is my home. Walking the street, I know everything's boarded up right now and everything's painted black, but even so, everything seems very picturesque, Jessica said. And I, you know, I have to agree with her. I just love walking through Hollywood. What about you, baby girl? It's, it's windy, I know. It's always windy in California. It is like the thorn in my paw. I hate windy days, but I do love being here. The weather is gorgeous and you never know what is around the corner because you don't go down a, a tiny side street and you miss a monument. It's very interesting. Right now, Jessica and I are standing out front of 6383 Yucca Street here in Hollywood. That ivy-covered building didn't look like that when Tim Burton was here filming. He used this building as Ed Wood's apartment in the movie. And the funny thing is, it really was Ed Wood's apartment. We had to get a closer look at it also because Jessica really wanted to kind of Face plant into the ivy, something she's never done before. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> it's not as welcoming as you would think. No? no Try going actually, backwards. Try laying into it. It's really thick. Look. Look at these vines. Look how thick that is. I always imagined, like, this is, I guess, a different kind of ivy. I'm going to try it backwards. Nope. It's like buoyant. You ain't making a dent in that, sweetheart. Uh-uh. No, I probably got leaves in my hair. 6383 Yucca Street. 
This is where Ed Wood lived with his second wife, Kathy. They lived here, but eventually they got evicted for not paying their rent. Ended up moving across town, staying with a friend, and he ended up dying in his sleep from a heart attack, supposedly while drinking in bed. How's that for old school, forgotten Hollywood legends, right? I've seen people talk about Ed Wood's time here at this building before online, and everybody says that this first apartment right here in the front was his and Kathy's. Don't know for certain. Maybe it's just a rumor. Maybe it's just easier. You know, when if you come and visit it, it's right here. But how cool is that? And check this out. Jessica, did you notice that right down here they have a tiny door? Did you notice that the tiny door has a tiny door? I'm sorry. There's a tiny door inside the tiny door? Tiny door, tiny door. Go stand by the tiny door. <laughs> so we can see how tiny this tiny door is. Tiny. tiny. I think it's for a cat. It's a tiny cat door? Tiny cat door. Move that get up immediately. Shame, our lord. That's it! I can't take it! It took me a minute of really looking at this building to have confidence in saying that this was the Larchmont Studios in Ed Wood where Ed and his ragtag filmmaker crew was making their movies. Take me to the nearest bar and make it snap. In one of the scenes, in fact, the very first time that Bella Lugosi arrives on set, I really love how Ed Wood is just so excited and to have him there this movie star that he absolutely adores i, I can relate to that oh my god mr ghost is here everyone 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 come on come in here listen when he walks onto the stage treat him normal i know bella lugosi is a world famous star and you're all very excited but look, we are professionals. It's not here now, but you can obviously tell that at one point there was some sort of door, like a garage door. In the movie, they would open it up and it was like a barn door that they would open and let people into the studio. Even a couple of different scenes with Bella Lugosi happened right here. On the other side of this building in the alleyway there's also a scene in the movie where vampira gets off a bus and she walks down the alleyway to the larchmont studios it's blocked off we can't get back there today which stinks but it's a very short scene and i'll show that to you right now The baptism scene so they can obtain the funding to finish their picture happened right here. Well, it was filmed right here at the Toluca Lake United Methodist Church. That cross on top of that, the steeple there, it's still here. It looks identical. Well, except for that tree to the left of the screen. It's looking pretty bare right now. Sadly, we can't get inside the church today to try to line up different shots, but the entire crew, the film crew, Criswell, Ed Wood, the new Bella Lugosi is sitting inside talking about how the new guy does not look anything like Bella Lugosi. A couple fun things are said, but what's really neat about this, you can see a certain stained glass window in the background. I feel like if we find that on the side of the building, at least we'll know exactly where they were sitting, which pew they were sitting in, which area. This one here matches up to whenever they first show the inside of the church 
up there where the choir is and the preacher. You can see, I'm guessing that's the Virgin Mary. We checked these stained glass windows and none of them match up to the one that they were sitting at in the movie. So you would think it's gotta be on the other side, right? Just walking around the building, none of the stained glass windows match up to that scene, which tells me one of three things. One, either the window got broken and they replaced it with something else. Two, it's one of the ones on the other side that has a cover over it and we can't see. Or three, it was filmed somewhere else entirely. Like on a sound stage because, you know, they're all sitting right there, which actually kind of makes sense. But if they filmed it here, if they filmed the other things here, why wouldn't they film this scene here as well? Eh, we tried. He looked nothing like Bella. He's kind of got his ears. Oh, look. Cover your face with this. Oh, now I can see it. Uh. I want to suck your blood. I want to suck your blood. The pool that was used for the baptism scene isn't here either. Likely that was someone's backyard. Welcome to the fold, brother. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior? Yes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And that's pretty much it for our Tim Burton's Ed Wood filming locations video. By no means is this all of them, but it's some of the most prominent ones that at least stood out to us. At some point, more than likely, very, very soon, we're going to do an actual Ed Wood location video here in Hollywood. Like the graves, the real Ed Wood, the real Plan 9 from outer space. But Tim Burton's Ed Wood, such a great movie and it was fun just seeing all these places wherever i come i've had luck it's coming my way wherever i go hard luck is that it stay good luck never stays a day a bad luck's always coming my way 